Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this beautiful Saturday morning, February 20th, 2021, and I am running late for a full day. Uh, a little dog and I, so I need to dive right into this, and uh, obviously several of you have sent me this uh, link to this article, I don't know, maybe about three quarters of the way down the top headlines on the mainstream media. You will not believe this, guys. We have the newest doom and gloom report from the United Nations. The United Nations, you, you know, who have become the single biggest bunch of doomers this side of the Davos boys. Uh, anybody who heard my rant just a couple of weeks ago about, you know, the, the Davos boys, uh, they're going full doomer. The United Nations going full out doomer. Uh, that we are doomed. And uh, obviously I'm not going to repeat uh, the rant I just had for anybody who does not understand why the UN has taken this turn. Uh, it is to <clears throat> sell the bright green lie that uh, like crap like the Paris Climate Agreement, the Green New Deal, uh, their sustainability goals, uh, solar panels, windmills, electric cars, uh, whatever, are going to do one damn thing. One more time, where this broken record rant, uh, <clears throat> the scientists behind these reports, the science behind these reports, these doom increasingly dire, uh, we are doomed reports, uh, is pretty much spot on. If anything, the science is too conservative. I do not have a problem with these probably uh, you know, scientists with their hearts and their heads in the right places, what it is, is the quote, policy makers, the world leaders, the uh, what was, uh, how did Bill McKibben and that hilarious uh, thing I require, the, the, the concentrated power uh, in service to the future of the planet. Is that what it was? Concentrated, you know, this is who they're talking about, uh, that, that, uh, that, that clueless moron, Bill McKibben, talking about is the UN. It's the biggest concentration of planet eaters uh, ever assembled in the history of humanity. And, 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 and to actually believe for one minute that this concentration of power uh, has any interest on any level of, of uh, saving anything except their bottom line by selling this uh, this global corporatocracy greenwashing bright green lie to these clueless deluded morons these little lefty greenies the AOC and the whole lot of them uh, you know just that we can make a few little tweaks and, and, and turn this this freight train around. Uh, this is the reason that they're trying to scare the shit out of people. You are not going to hear in any of these reports that we actually do things like uh, maybe start keeping the birth rates down. The, the start declining our birth rates. You will never see the word overpopulation. My guess is anywhere in this report. It's certainly not never mentioned in the article. 
uh, the last thing uh, on the United Nations uh, agenda is, is to suggest that there are too many people on this planet. It, uh, that, uh, you know, to put that idea out there would put them out of a job. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's just hear the latest. All right, from a, this is Associated Press. This is their coverage of the newest uh, doomsday report from the concentrated power in service to the future of this planet. UN, huge changes in society needed to keep nature and Earth okay. To keep nature and Earth okay. How about make earth great again. I guess they already uh, they already think that nature and planet earth are okay. Uh, there you go. So keep earth okay and then we have humans. Humans are making earth a broken and increasingly unlivable planet through climate change, biodiversity loss, and pollution. So the world must make <coughs> dramatic changes to society, economics, and daily life. A new nation, United Nations report says, sounding like the past 20 United Nations reports, I think we're going to be blessed by an airboat coming by on this beautiful day. You can uh, hear the sounds of the airboats. Unlike past UN doomsday reports, that focused on one issue and avoided telling leaders actions to take. Thursday's report combines three intertwined environmental crises and tells the world what has got to change. Why don't we start with making airboats illegal? The report calls for changing what governments tax how nations value economic output, how power is generated, the way people get around, such as airboats, fish and farm, as well as what they eat. This is good old UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. Quote, without nature's help, we will not thrive or even survive. <coughs> For too long, we have been waging a senseless and suicidal war on nature. The result is three interlinked environmental crises. No, Antonio, the result is 300,000 interlinked environmental crises, every single one of them being, uh, if not outright caused, at least exacerbated by too many people on this planet. Uh, all right, this is uh, this doomer, Robert, Sir Robert Watson. Uh, you might remember him from some of these previous doomsday reports. This is Sir Robert Watson's latest warning to the planet. Quote, our children and their children. Yeah, so you see already uh, the first words out of the lead author of this report. Our children and their children. Uh-huh will inherit a world of extreme weather events, sea level rise, a drastic loss of plants and animals, food and water insecurity, and an increasing likelihood of future pandemics. The emergency is in fact more profound than we thought only a few years ago. Close quote. Getting back to Guterres, says this year is, quote, a make it or break it year indeed, because the risk of things becoming irreversible is gaining ground every year. We are close to the point 
of no return. Close quote. So bring out the solar panels, bring out the windmills, bring out the electric cars. Yes. The report highlighted what report co-author Rachel Warren of the University of East Anglia called, quote, a litany of frightening statistics that has not really been brought together. Yes, this uh, going, going down, here's a few on the list. Earth is now on the way to an additional three and a half degree Fahrenheit warming uh, from now far more than the international uh, <clears throat> far more than the international agreed upon goals in the Paris Accord I'm thinking that's three and a half degrees C anyway about nine million people a year die from pollution but of course what is it uh, 80 million people are born nowhere mentioned in this litany of catastrophe uh, about one million species of plants and animals threatened with extinction, up to 400 million tons of heavy metals, toxic sludge, and other industrial waste are dumped into the world's waters every year. Uh, more than three billion people are affected by land degradation. Uh, and how many of our fellow earthlings, only 15%, well I heard yesterday, 13% of Earth's wetlands remain uh, uh, intact, 60% of fish stocks are fished at the maximum levels, there are now more than 400 oxygen depleted dead zones uh, in the oceans, and major plastics pollution has increased tenfold since 1980 and is projected to quadruple in the next 30 years. This is t biologist Thomas Lovejoy, who I think I've interviewed. Did I interview Thomas Lovejoy? I think I might have. Anyway, quote, in the end, it will hit us. It's not what's happening to elephants. It's not what's happening to climate or sea level rise. It is all going to impact us, close quote. The planet's problems are so interconnected that they must be worked on together to be fixed right, Warren said. And many of the solutions, such as eliminating fossil fuels, combat multiple problems, including climate change and pollution, she said. Oh, uh, yes. The report, uh, this is University of Michigan Environment Professor Rosina Beerbaum, the report, quote, makes it clear that there is no time for linear thinking or tackling problems one at a time. In another break, this report gives specific solutions, specific solutions that it says must be taken. The report uses the word must 56 times and should 37 times. There should be 100 more because action is so crucial, said UN Climate Chief Christina Figueres, quote, Time has totally run out. That's why the word must is in there, Figueres said. The report calls for an end to fossil fuel use and says governments should not tax labor or production, but rather use of resources that damage nature. Said Guterres, governments are still paying more to exploit nature than to protect it. Which, anyway, I don't have time to get into break all that down. Globally, countries spend some four to six trillion dollars per year on subsidies that damage the environment, close quote. Scientists should inform leaders <clears throat> 
about environmental risks, but said former Republican Representative Bob Inglis, quote, but their endorsement, scientists' endorsement of specific public policies threatens to undermine the credibility of their science. That could be a fodder for an entire other rant. The report also tells nations to value nature in addition to the gross domestic product when calculating how an economy is doing. Getting there means changes by individuals, changes by governments, and changes by businesses, but it does not have to involve sacrifice, said UN Environment Program Director Inger Anderson. None of this has to involve sacrifices. You don't have to sacrifice one thing in your life, guys. You don't have to sacrifice having kids. You don't have to sacrifice your SUV. It's right here. You don't have to sacrifice a damn thing. All right! Quote, There is a country that has been on that path for 25 years. Costa Rica. Don't even get me started on my broken record Costa Rica rant. Uh, you would never shut me up. Uh, I, I get so sick and tired uh, uh, of holding Costa Rica up a, 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 as the example uh, of how to save a planet. I lived in Costa Rica for three years, all right, guys? Yes, Costa Rica, the poster child of how to save a planet. That, that's like uh, putting Sancho Panza uh, as the poster child uh, on a uh, Save the Chipmunk campaign. Said uh, Anderson, quote, Yes, these are difficult times, but more and more leaders are stepping in. Yes, they're stepping in a big pile of unadulterated horse shit is what the more and more leaders are stepping into, acting like the, the, this little Green New Deal and all of this crap is going to turn this planet around, waving uh, the Costa Rican flag around as a way to save this planet. Anyway, guys. I gotta go. The little dog has to go too. Get out there and enjoy uh, not making any sacrifices, making all of these changes, but not making, in, enjoy not making any sacrifices while you still can. Bye, guys.